RISA Foundation utilizes a comprehensive set of modeling tools for the simple creation of a variety of foundation elements. Model foundation elements such as grade beams, retaining walls, spread and combined footings, piles, and mat slabs. In this video, we will take a look at reviewing design results for our foundation elements in RISA Foundation. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've already started a model here with the footing and slab foundation elements. I also went ahead and generated some load combinations to solve this model. Here in the load combination spreadsheet, you can enter your own load combination and factors, or you can auto-generate load combinations by using our load combination generator here. Back in the spreadsheet, you can choose which combinations you want to include in the envelope solution. To solve the solution and design the foundation elements, the program requires at least one service load combination selected. Now I'm going to solve the batch solution. We can review our results in the results spreadsheet format. All you have to do is actually just choose one of our results spreadsheets populated in this toolbar. I'm going to click the pedestal design results tab. You'll see here it's designing our vertical and shear reinforcement. I can click on the footing design spreadsheet, so I want to view more information on my footing design. And I'm going to do that in detailed reports. We can launch any of the detailed reports directly from the spreadsheet by right clicking and selecting detail report, or I can use the detailed report over here on the left hand toolbar. Then I'm going to select one of my footings and this will pull up the detail report. You can see sketches and details of the footing and pedestal geometry and reinforcement. Then as I scroll, you can see the flexural design and other design checks for shear and overturning. If I want to print this report to a PDF, I can do so directly from this window. Now if I scroll back to the top, you can see from my footing design, I have a redesign function in the detail report. I can enter alternative footing dimensions so I don't have to resolve the entire model to edit the design of my single footing. I can also hit the options button at the top of the report to pick which sections are displayed in the report. Do we want it to be the summary data or do we want more custom information where we want all of the code checks expanded? Whenever we choose this, we can go ahead and set this as the default and then that will remain the default for this particular element when we open up our detail reports again. For slab reinforcement design, the slabs require a design strip. Internally, what the program is doing is actually putting a design cut, okay? So there's going to be, by default, 50 cuts across the slab in this direction vertically. And what that means is this slices through there, finds all of the forces across that slice. The design strip takes the envelope of all of those forces for each cut and finds the worst cut and designs it for that. I can click on the detail report and select cut to see any of the information that happened on that cut. So each cut is designed and then the worst case or cut is being put together for that strip. So the cuts are informative and they give you a lot of information, but the strip kind of gives you all of the information in one package. So it tells you here the moment and shear across that entire design strip. And then it also tells us which was the governing cut that led us to that governing moment. At this point, we've completed the design and analysis of our foundation structure. We could then move on to exporting RISA 3D and RISA floor models to RISA Foundation. For more information on RISA Foundation or other RISA topics, please visit our website, risa.com.